everybody. Um, I am here at Franklin Park Zoo with our Patu donkeys. And as you can see, we have three right here. So they are all very interested in coming over for their snacks. So some of you may have seen them at Franklin Park Zoo. They're in a new spot. They used to be in our uh, closer to where our barnyard is, our farmyard area. But now that we have three Patu donkeys, we have a larger space for them uh, up still near our children's zoo, but near one of our tent in our bathrooms. So this one right here, this is Inspector McGray, and he is our youngest Patu donkey. Um, and he was named by a donor at the zoo. So we are very happy to be able to have a special French name for him since they are a French breed. But <laughs> we have our other two here. So he's the youngest at um, two years old. And as you can see, he sometimes can be a little bit of a troublemaker with our other friends here because we have, <laughs> we have uh, Volavon, who's all the way towards the back. And in the middle of the two is Pegasus, who is our other male. So all three of these donkeys live together. And, Je uh, and Inspector M and Pegasus tend to <laughs> tend to play a lot throughout the day. Volavon, our female here, likes to put Jedi in his place. So she tells him when she doesn't want him to be somewhere. So that's exactly what she just did. They all want snacks right now. And she's saying, uh, I want these snacks, so you need to get out of my way. <laughs> so she tells him where he needs to go. Pegasus kind of puts up with him. It's kind of similar at home if you have some younger and older pets. Sometimes the older pets will tell the other ones where they should be going. So we have um, Volavon, who is um, 12 years old, and Pegasus, who is 18 years old. So there are definitely some age differences between these three, which you can definitely tell. But Inspector M here, uh, a lot of people at the zoo uh, are really getting to know him in their new in their new area that they have here at the zoo because there's a lot. It's a um, a path that leads to some different offices here, so a lot of new people are coming by and meeting him and learning all about his personality, which is a big one. So today we decided to highlight them so we could share a little bit more about them and about. Uh, Inspector M's personality because he is quite the character. He is always coming over to see what's going on, whereas our other two, not always so much. They came over for some treats today and also because our zookeeper Becky is here who they also uh, have a good relationship with, so they come over to see her. But sometimes when it's other staff, they kind of hang back, but uh, Inspector M's always coming right over to take a look to see what is going on. So what they're getting right now is some celery. And if you can't tell, he is enjoying it very much and wants more. But we also have some bamboo treats for them too. And for this, a lot of different animals are able to get this at the zoo. Let's see if we can share. <laughs> with our other friends here. Pegasus is going to get his own down there. So this is a special uh, enrichment item for them. Not something they get every single day, but something that they get as a special treat. So that is one of their favorite treats is different types of brows. So they really enjoy getting these and bamboo being one of them. They also enjoy getting different um, brows of actually the bark of different types of um, trees. So that is something that Patu donkeys in their natural range would eat along with haze and grasses. So as you can tell, they were very interested in this as well and just dived right in to eat it. Sorry guys. <laughs> so they are enjoying this today, but 
Inspector M, as I mentioned, is a very is a very silly guy. So he likes any sort of enrichment that is put into <laughs> that is put into the exhibit. So the other day, I actually saw him and Pegasus playing with one of their boomer balls that they have here, which if you've been to the zoo, you've probably seen them in other types of exhibits too. They're basically a large, really hardy ball that is able to uh, be used to lots of different animals because of course, some of our animals are very strong. And as you can see, these donkeys are quite large. So it's something that, that they can have and hopefully not break. The keepers uh, keep a close eye on that, but Inspector M and Pegasus were playing with it together, uh, which was really, really awesome to see. Uh, Inspector M <laughs> brought it over to him and they were playing with it together. Volavon's having a tough time sharing with Inspector M <laughs> because she wants her own piece of browse. So she has that now. <laughs> so we had a question about their coats. Yeah. And Justin asked if they shed because their fur seems long for summer. Yeah, absolutely. So that is a um, characteristic of these donkeys. Um, they do have this long shaggy coat. So they do shed a little bit uh, before the summer season, but not as much as you may see with some of our other animals. A good example of that is our camels, our Bactrian camels. We did a live with them <laughs> the other week. Volavon is very strong. We did a live with the camels the other week and you, we got to see that their coats have completely dropped for the summer season. But it's a little bit different for these uh, donkeys because they do keep this shaggy coat in their natural range. Um, and even though they get groomed here at the zoo, they have daily grooming, even though I know it may not always look like it, they do have daily grooming. They just have that naturally coarse and shaggy fur. So it almost creates, if you guys can see here, Jetta, um, Inspector M has a good example of that. Right here, he has those dreads. So it kind of makes that coarse, uh, that coarse fur there. And Joe asked, did you say one was 18 years old? What's the lifespan? That is a great question. So the lifespan for these guys could be 30 to 35 years. So uh, Pegasus is in his mid range there. And do the keepers train with them? That is another great question. So they do train with the donkeys. So something that is really awesome about a lot of our animals in children's zoo is that the zookeepers are able to work hands on with them. So with these donkeys, they are able to harness them. Um, but as you can see, they're quite large. So they do always have to make sure that there's a second person with them to be able to be safe. Um, because Volavon, the one in the middle that we talked about before, our female, she is a thousand pounds. So she is quite large. So they have to make sure that uh, they're able to be safe when going in with them or um, putting their harnesses on. But they are able to work hands on with them and do training as well. So that training allows them to do uh, monthly weighing but also allows them if they have any sort of issues that they need to take a look at, that they're able to go in with them, put their harness on, and then use some of those different behaviors to be able to look at any part of their body that they may need to. I guess the last question we'll take is, are they endangered? That is another great question. So the, this is a little bit tricky since they are considered a domestic breed but they are actually considered critically endangered according to the Livestock Conservancy. Um, and that is because they had a very large drop in their numbers in the 80s, um, but that the Livestock Conservancy is one of the organizations that is breeding them to make sure that we can keep this population since they did have such a large drop. So we're pretty lucky to be able to have these donkeys here. They're not at a lot of institutions, so they are definitely very rare. Great. I think that's about all the time we have. If you wanted to wrap up. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us with our Patu donkeys today. 
Um, they are up in our children's zoo area in their new spot. So you can come and take a look at them <laughs> and see what, see what they're up to that day. They're usually pretty entertaining to see. So you can come and take a look at them and hopefully we'll see you soon.